Oh my gosh, did you see that? What was that? What is up guys? If you're like me, you love resin and epoxy projects, but you might not realize some of the insane things you can make by simply mixing in a few unconventional crafting materials. So to show you just what I'm talking about, today we're gonna conduct some mad scientist experiments. <laughs> we're just gonna play around and try a few things. And for this, I'll be using the Glitter Guys brand new professional grade UV resin. Ooh, if you wanna get it, there's a link in the description that may come with a discount code, I'm just saying. All right, so you know how we all get going down the rabbit hole when we're watching videos and you see some cool stuff. Well, the other day that happened to me, I was watching this guy named Daniel Cooper. Now, oh, sorry, this is for later, it's for this guy. Yes, hold on right there, buddy. A lot of you watching this video may have heard of Daniel Cooper. He does a lot of really cool resin experiments and he has a really nice tone of voice. He has a bit of an accent, you know. It's really soothing, it's really nice. I might talk through this whole video like that, I don't know, but probably not. He was doing some crazy stuff. Water drops, pendant looking thing with some glue and resin. Elmer Scoo glue, shampoo and it smells fantastic if nothing else, I don't know. Copper wire, it's like, what? I have to try this, because I'm not very familiar with resin. Most of the time I use epoxy, or other known as epoxy, for you layman terms. So let's flip it around so we can really get hands on and see what's going on, and I hope you enjoy it, because I have no idea what's gonna happen, because he made it look so easy, and probably won't be like that for me, so we'll see how it goes. All right, I got you flipped around here. I've got my gloves on for protection because I don't want this stuff getting ow, all over my hands. And I've got my light over here. Oh gosh, that's bright. Watch your eyes there, buddy. One interesting thing in the video, he sit his sideways, which I never thought about doing. I always prop mine up on two or three different wobbly things and it's really sketchy. So he did his on the side, which I really like that. And this is the shampoo. Shampoo is better. Uh, I had a hard time finding anything that was clear and not colored or like opally looking. I'm gonna set that to the side. We'll do that one in a minute. For the first one, we're gonna get this copper wire and it, you probably don't need much. I don't know. I'm just gonna cut that much off right there. Seems like a good amount. And what you do for this is you're just gonna make like a little loop, like an oval or whatever, whatever shape you want. I'm gonna do it not too big. And what I thought about for this would be like some lady earrings would be really rad if uh, if it works out the way Mr. Daniels did. So we shall see. Just get you a little, it's not really technical. I don't know. I watch it. Oh gosh, my gloves are stuck. Let go. What the heck? There we go. I watch and uh, then I do. I just like to figure it out as I go. I get, a, I get the gist of the plan, you know what I'm saying? So what we're gonna do here, put that to the side, move these dangerous looking things. So this is first step, it looked like you take and you fill this up enough to dip that, okay? So, oh, so, oh there's static in there. Look how it's sticking to the, the sides. That's, I hope that doesn't interfere or be weird or anything. This is gonna take a minute, so let's cut to it. All right, so I got that filled up, and apparently what, all you do is you have UV resin. You have a little bit of glue. He used clear glue. Uh, I didn't have any, so I'm using not clear glue. It's white. The small amount of, that he used, I don't feel like it's gonna make a difference. But look, oh, that's too much. He literally only put one, let me wipe that off. That's too much. He literally only put like one little drip of Elmer's glue. Let's see. See that right there, can you see? That's probably more than he used, honestly, but that's what I'm gonna do. So he put it in there and he really mixed it up. Pretty decent to get all the glue around. And it, what it does apparently makes it a little thicker so that, I hope I don't break my toothpick here. I don't know what I was thinking using a little toothpick. He used a dipper tool, which go figure, I don't have one of those either. So we're just making the best with what we have here. Cause really, how many perfect scenarios when you're inspired do you have all the materials you need and then if you have go the trouble to get all the materials you need uh, the, the mood's passed baby it's gone by then <laughs> the best way to do it is to when you're inspired and you can do it do it as quickly as possible and then learn from it see what happens so i got that mixed up now this would be this would be a rather large earring maybe maybe i need to make it smaller just for my chances of success since i am a noob at whatever we're doing here seems pretty doable i guess right so what we're going to do we're going to dip let's dip this i'm going to move this out of the way and i'm going to turn 
my UV light on here, okay? So let's see, you do a little dip dip. I might, oh, I got a little dippy dippy. I need, might need to put a little angle on this thing. There we go, ooh, it looks like a nice little bubble. Is it filled up? Um, no. How did he get his to stay full? Okay, I think that's it. Nope, it went away. My bubble went away. Dang it, what the heck? Well, maybe we'll dip a few times. We're gonna make it work. I don't, maybe, I don't know. We're optimistic here. Our glass is half full. It's not half empty, right? All right, let's go. Move this to the side and dip, turn on the light. And I'm just gonna twist it, twist it. Bring it, oh, don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. It's moving, it's oh, moving, moving here. Aren't you supposed to put it, maybe you put it in water. I don't remember the details. Oh my gosh, this is sketchy. Okay, we're moving, we're curing here. Oh, there we go, I'm trying to get you a good angle while I'm not trying to drip this. Uh, I'm creating a, I think I got too much. I'm not really sure, it's got quite a bubble there and it, oh, why don't you stop? We don't need to stop now. Hey, shield your eyes, people, but you're on the video, so you you should be fine. Is it done? Oh, it's done, holy cow. It's literally done, it's a little tacky, a little tacky. But wow, it's literally done. Well, hold on, let me look at this. Okay, so that seemed to work. I went a little heavy. Obviously, it's my first time, but I have another idea. I'm gonna make another one of these, maybe a little smaller. I'm gonna put some like a, some opal looking stuff in there. Maybe a drip of alcohol ink or something, just to give it some color. I feel like that'd be cool. So let's mix that up and we'll dip. All right, so what I did for this, I did like one drop of a really, really light blue color. And then the uh, Marabou Rainbow, what's it called? I don't remember. The bottle's over there. I'm not getting up to look. You know what it is. I also made another one of these doohickeys. Made it a little bit smaller. We're gonna dip and see if we can get a little bit better results now you know I mentioned you could make this for an earring or something like that. you could totally do a necklace but fun fact uh, I actually did used to have my ear pierced when I was four years old I had my first um, hole my mom and dad let me actually and so I don't have it anymore I mean I probably could put something in there but you know whatevs oh it went away darn it this there's, there's got to be some kind of magic trick to this without doing it so thick Maybe I didn't put enough glue. I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna try this, shape. just rake it off there and then go, turn the light on, twist, turn, twist, turn, make it happen. There we go, sorry about, yeah, man, I got another too much on the globbage there. Try to rake this off a little bit. I still feel like that's gonna be too much. Zoom in here, get you a little good view here. It's, it's, it's staying, so that's pretty sweet. I don't know how durable it would be for jewelry or whatever. Oh gosh, turn it back on. It's probably not done. It, it might be, but I'm scared to touch it so early. I always do two rounds. It's only like 15 seconds or something, you know? Look, you can see the bling bling, the little sparkles in that. That's pretty rad. I mean, literally, how easy is that? You could totally see the sparkly stuff. And look, this would go forever. I might use this for my second experiment. I don't know, we'll see. Well, Daniel, well, well, Daniel, well done. So that was a successful experiment and it literally worked. And if you took your time and you experimented more and was a little bit neater than I am, you could probably make some really dope jewelry with a copper little thing, like make some nice shapes. Either way, uh, success. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we'll get our glue out of the way. Bring our woder for our cleaning up. Get my tweezers. So hopefully I can grab this bad boy out here. Let's back you up just a little bit, Terry. What do you refer, Terry? There we go, get your UV resin. This one seems to be pretty simple. I'll zoom in just a minute when we get started, but literally all he takes is a drip of this in this, and as it's dropping down, he turns the light on and it cures it. Once again, this is like shampoo, okay? Literally just, a, I'm just gonna do some squeegee. Bloop, and then drip, let it go, let it go. Okay, turn the light on. Is it dripping? Let's get closer, let's go see. Go, go. It is literally not moving. My shampoo may be a little thick. Ooh, it's doing something, look at that. It's coming down. Oh, you can see that it's blue. That's kind of pretty. Let's move it closer. Come here, light. Don't be shy. There we go. There we go, where you can see the, the blue drippage. Wow. Oh, it's off. I think we need more. Let's do it one more time, just to be safe. It's dropping just a little bit. I've really barely put any uh, UV resin in there, and it's, it's not heavy enough to drip down, I guess. So next time, I'll do a little bit more. Uh, as soon as this cuts off, I'll pull it out. And we'll, so, we'll see what we got. Oh, it's so exciting. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Oh. 
Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, I dropped it. Come here a little bit. Come. Don't be shy. Oh, it's got like a little drip looking. Hold on, let's clean it off with some water. All right, let's check it out. I think it's still a little tacky. It's sticking to my, my doohickeys. So let's do a little better job cleaning it off. So let's see what we got. Ooh, that would make a really nice jewel. Oh, don't drop it. Let's turn you down so I don't drop this thing. Here we go, there we go. Literally the first experiment from this thing worked. And I put the tiniest drop of UV resin in there, but it, it makes a nice little ball. Now, of course, my little ending kind of trailed off a little bit, but let's see what we can do. Let's do some more. That's kind of fun, super easy. Let's see if we can make a sculpture like Sir Daniel did. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a good bit here. I'm gonna load up, and for my last Demonstration. I think I'm going to pour some of that blue mixture from the previous. This is this soap is not drip. I'm going to go really heavy here. I want to try to get it to drop. Go down. We're trying to do some experimenting. Nope, I don't want that drip. All right, here we go. Let's turn the light on. Um, okay, we got some droppage. Let's get you down a little bit further. So, oh, there we go. That's a good angle right there. So let's wait and see what happens. One last time. I really want it to drop down more and make sure that it's cured before I go grabbing it with the little tweezers. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's, let's grab this bad boy. This is kind of big. I don't know if I can grab it with this. Oh, I got it, I got it, I did. Oh, what in the world is a hole in it? Hold on, let's see. What are we looking at here? Oh, this could be like a pendant for a necklace. This is a really rad shape. All right, ooh we look at that. This would make an insane pendant. Think about that. You could do this like several times with several different colors and dip it in. Still a lot of soap on there, but that is a really rad design, honestly. Look, I put this on this little dangly other part of this. Just look at the clarity and beauty of this. It's like, have you ever seen that movie, um, Sweet Home Alabama, where they put the the rods in the sand and make lightning sculptures out of? That kind of what that reminds me of. Not as dangerous, obviously is lightning in sand, but wow. That is a work of art right there, honestly. And I really like how it left a little opening so that you could hang it on something. Dude, that could be some legit earrings, honestly, or a necklace. I don't know what you're into, but wow. So I did a little squirrely shape here, and then we're just gonna dip it in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do a little dab here with my little shape, turn it on and see what happens like a jewel in a pendant. Literally make it any color you want also with glitter or alcohol ink. It's kind of insane. All right, now this is the last experiment, I'm serious. So what I did, I dumped out most of the soap and I filled the rest up with water. And I'm going to try to turn this on, dip this down and get this to like latch onto it and make a little weird shape going up from there. Cause surely, the water would make it be able to move. Oh, it moves too much. All right, let's do it up to the top there. Do some water in there, swirly, swirly. I don't know what's going on down below. It looks like some interesting things are happening. Let's get the light a little closer. I didn't say turn off, I said get a little closer. Whoa, it literally looks like something's going on in there. Oh, oh my gosh, did you see that? What was that? It was like some kind of sculpture from another planet. What in the world? Okay, this may be the winner here. Next time this light goes off, I'm pulling it up and we're gonna see what we got. I seen something when I pulled that up. I don't know if you've seen that or not. What in the outer space is this? Would you look at that? That's like a, do you see that? It's like a horse. Look at the horse head shape. What? Hold on, focus here, buddy. <laughs> I'm trying to get you an optimal view. We're gonna do a spin. Take a tour, take a twirl, whatever you call it. I mean, that's cool. But if I had a bigger bucket and time to, you know, just take my time and try to figure something out. But that's it, I'm not doing any more experimenting. Uh, you go and do for yourself. Literally follow this video. Go check out Daniel's two videos that I use for reference on this. I'll have the link in the description. 
enjoy and if you like experimental videos like this drop me a comment below and uh, you're gonna want to love this experimental video right here see you on the next one god bless goodbye <laughs>